Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Loki Subaru in Port Ritchie, Florida, and we have it. This is the 2020 Subaru Forester. This one is the top, top trim level. This is the Touring Edition. Let's talk a little bit about the Forester. So over the years, Subaru really stood out with some very unique vehicles with the Outback, with the Forester. The Forester first came out on the scene all the way back in 1997 in Japan. Here in the United States, it was 1998 kind of really stood out and really didn't have a place where it fit in the car market. Well, because everything is switching to SUVs and people's interests are going towards SUVs, a lot of Subaru's vehicles now just hit the sweet spot for everybody's budget, taste, and lifestyle. With the Forester, it now sits on that global architecture. All their vehicles are switching over to the global architecture, Outback, Ascent, so on and so forth. What that means is you're gonna get a, for, a Forester that's 70% more rigid. The chassis is 70% more rigid. It also means that it's gonna lower that center of gravity, which is gonna give you better handling and whatnot. But let's see what this restyling of the Forester, how it went from last year into this year, 2020, on this Touring Edition. So right off the bat, you'll see the updated headlight housing. The wonderful news is when they redesigned the Forester, it still looks like a Forester. A lot of people were worried about that. Full LED lighting on the Touring model. I do like also the shape of the daytime running lamp. That is also LED lit as well. And it gives a nice look when the vehicle's going down the road. Now, as we come down to lower corner, you get some nice chrome treatment, which I think fits the Forester perfect, especially with some of the silver going on in that headlight housing. You have your lower fog lamps. And then as we come across the front on the lower section, you have flat black, which is great, and some nice metallic silver just to, to kind of balance it up and kind of bright, it, bright things up a little bit. You have 8.7 inches of ground clearance, just like you always have. So this is a perfect vehicle to go off-road with Subaru's fabulous symmetrical all-wheel drive system. Grill, I really dig what's going on here. You got the chrome treatment all the way around and through the top portion, matches the chrome in the lower pieces of the, of the front fascia. And then you have flat black, horizontal slots, which matches the flat black here. So it really blends it in. And that grill is definitely Subaru brand identity. When we go up onto the hood, I really like what's going on. You have a nice raised section in the middle. That harks back to those early first gen Foresters. And as you go to the corners of the hood, I like the way they kind of have a slight rise and some very nice distinct bylines, especially this one, because it kind of rides along and then it curves off as you get close to the windshield. When we come around the bend, you have flat black around the fender treatment. You, these are the wheels on the Touring Edition. So it's an 18 inch wheel, machined aluminum with a dark, dark gunmetal metallic gray paint scheme. I wish that they did a little bit more with the wheel. I feel like that's something on the Subaru lineup is the styling of the wheel could be a, just a tad more, especially on the Touring trim, but definitely you're gonna get a nice ride out of an 18 inch wheel because of what we're working with tire wise, because this is a 225 on the width. And then if you look at this, sidewall here this is a 55 series sidewall so a thicker sidewall gives you a more comfortable ride especially if you are going off-road now as we continue down the side here is something that automatically off the bat if you weren't looking at anything else you know that this is going to be a turning trim level you have the nice brushed aluminum mirror covers i think that that really just kind of brings up the feel fit and finish of the forester you also have the chrome treatment top and bottom around all the glass on the sides as well now down low continuation of the flat black and some of that nice metallic silver that we picked up from the front these are nice touches on the touring trim level of course no subaru is not they're not going to come without their cross their roof rails and you could get the crossbars but i like the silver with the flat black really ties it into what's going on on the side of the forester now as we go towards the rear quarter Look at the body line, really, really great how it starts in the door here and goes into the rear quarter. That nice chrome trim gets a little wider towards the corner of it. And then as we come to the back, I really like what Subaru has done with the Forester. It's very clean. Some people, they weren't loving the taillight design. I, I'm starting, it's growing on me. At first, I really wasn't loving it. I wish it would just be, like if I covered up this portion, I think that looks a little bit better but it is what it is at the end of the day, and I promise you, it will grow on you. All-wheel drive system, that Subaru badge. There's a, even, even I like what they're doing with the Touring badge as well. Now, where my Zonk is for the tail end of the business here, there's only one exhaust outlet. 
If this is a touring trim, I would like to see twin exhaust outlets. You can see that you also have towing capacity with this Forester. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering the 2020 Forester. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on this Jasper Green Metallic 2020 Forester. Underneath the hood, it's not going to be a Subaru unless you have that flat engine inside. So what you're looking at with this 2020 Forester, that's a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated flat four. That means the pistons are going back and forth horizontally. This one for the new redesign has now direct injection. It's going to give you 182 horsepower, 176 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a CVT transmission that does have simulated gears in it to make you feel like you have a seven-speed transmission, automatic transmission. Zero to 60, not the fastest. 8.5 seconds, top speed 127 miles an hour. The Forester Turing weighs in around 3,600 pounds. MPGs, even with the full-time all-wheel drive, 26 in the city, 33 on the highway. And the thing is, what's wonderful about Subarus with their flat fours and flat sixes and everything else is that that center of gravity is gonna be very low in the chassis. That's gonna help with handling. Also, think about it, the safety features. These things are now being pushed out. The new Outback, the new Legacy. We're talking about safety standards of the year 2023. Five star plus all the way around and that eyesight technology. But why don't we go ahead fire up this flat four and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Forester, that touring trim level, top trim level. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I've been looking at Foresters for a while now. I've been wanting to pull the trigger. I want to do some adventuring and I've been watching all those Subaru commercials. I'm going to go get a dog. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one sits, is $37,000. But like I said, that is fully loaded to the brim. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Subaru has done a fantastic job with their interior. I love what's happening. Now, even though there's a, it's all dark material for the most part, it looks top-notch, high quality that really is telling of what the you know Subaru is thinking and the direction they're going in. I love all the stitch work, the um, contrast stitching at the top of the door panel there, the contrast stitching along the armrest, very nicely done. The textures, this one has the optional Harman Kardon sound system, and you're also gonna get some space there for you know your uh, bottle of water or cup or whatever you have. Soft material on the dash, I'm even digging this. It almost looks like a golf ball texture, nice and soft. Little bit of silver on the AC vents, just to kind of tie it in with the door, but they even went ahead and brought the simulated stitching here. All this stitch work just brings up the level of fit, feel, and finish. You have a nice info gauge cluster there that you could actually toggle through all sorts of information from the date. Look at that, you can see all around your Forester. You can see how the all-wheel drive is being transferred, all that great stuff. The weather, coming down to the infotainment system, they've done a lot of work to bring this up to uh, the scale of what the competition has. Eight inch infotainment system screen. Obviously it's a touch screen, it's the Starlink system. We go back to home. Very, very clear graphics, very easy to swap. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You don't have to wait for it in a Subaru. Push button start, very nice. You have your dual climate controls, they're easy to see. A Little bit of gloss black, but I promise you, you're not gonna touch it and it's gonna be okay. Nice little cubby for your phone. You got a 12 volt in there, a USB, two USB, excuse me, because they're stacked. And then you also have an aux jack. This is gonna be controlling that CVT transmission. I know that is probably the sorest spot on many of the Subarus, but you know what? For a CVT and those simulated gears, it actually shifts pretty realistically to make you think that it's not. Now, this one being the touring trim also has the X mode um, accessibility. So you could twist this knob here and you have snow and dirt or deep snow and mud. So it gives you some options. You do have heated seats, but I am gonna zonk it, no ventilated seats. But to be honest with you, so far the zonks have been pretty minimal. Two cup holders. Here's the universal key fob that is now coming on most of all Subarus that have the push button start. Very nice touch, nice weight to it. I like the height of the armrest. You got that same stitching. Open it up, another 12 volt in there, and you have some space for about, I'd say six Twinkies, or if you want to be healthy, about three and a half bananas. 
Nice little spot. You could put your cell phone here if you, if you didn't want it down low. And then the seats are amazing. I love the leather. I love the stitch work. I just wish that they were um, ventilated and not just heated. They are 10-way uh, adjustable, which is great as well. Full electric assist, plenty of headroom, and you get this beautiful panoramic style sunroof. Really allows you to see that beautiful sky. When it comes to safety, like we were talking about, your eyesight system mounted inside, I'm telling you, you're not gonna have to worry about it failing because of mud, dirt, and debris hitting your front bumper because everything is contained here. And it's the newer version, so it's nice and small, frameless. You know I like those, auto dimming mirror. But why don't you come in over to the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel of this 2020 Forester. All right guys, business end. We'll start on the door panel here. You can see that you have two memory settings for the driver's side, which is really nice. And of course, like I said, that 10-way adjustable seat, even with the lower lumbar, ooh. That feels good, I like that. Steering wheel, I'm digging that too. The thickness, the leather, the stitch work, a little bit of silver, and then you do have a plethora of buttons, but I'm telling you, they're no big deal. You see these two little guys here? You could actually adjust the actual uh, parameters of the engine, which is really nice, how the engine operates. You got heated steering wheel control, and then this is gonna allow you to go through all that information uh, in that extra pod uh, located up top. And then the instrumentation, I like because it's easy to see easy to understand and I get it. So analog tech, analog speedometer, and then you have that digital display in the center, which gives you a plethora of information to go to go through, which is really wonderful. And I really like that clean setup as well. But overall, lots of headroom in here. Why don't we go ahead, check out the back seat and see how your passenger is gonna be loving this Forester. All right, guys, we are back seat time. One thing I wanna point out before Tom kind of zooms in too much, down low here, you actually have some really great plastic that's been brought inside. What that is for is that when you're putting your kayak up on the roof, you got those Subaru crossbars because of the roof rails up there. That's the one thing that makes a Subaru great. They all come with their roof rails. You just got to get the crossbars. You could put your foot there to get the kayak off the top or your mountain bike and not rip up the carpet. That's smart thinking from Subaru. What's also smart is the seat back here, the amount of room. You actually have 1.4 more inches of leg room in the back seat of the new Forester compared to the last generation. Another nice thing is this command center here. So on the Touring, you're gonna get dual USBs and you're also gonna get heated seats. But as you can see, I got tons of room, plus they have two levels of pockets for the backs of the seats, including one that's a little smaller. Why is it smaller? because it's for your cell phone. You could conveniently put your cell phone, not have to worry about it falling over and then getting lost in the pocket. Of course, you're gonna get nice style armrests and look, they put some nice trim around the cup holders, one, two, easy to go. Let's go ahead and check out that cargo area and see how much camping gear we could fit in this Forester. All right, guys, the best part of any Subaru for sure is gonna be that cargo area. You push the button, electric assist, Look at all that room. Let me go ahead and lift this up a little bit. But you can see that you'll have tons of space for whatever you need to haul in your Forester. You also have a 12 volt over there, which is very nice. And then you can see the subwoofer for the Harman Kardon system. You pull this, look at that. Seats go down nice and flat. Let me lift this out of the way so Tom can show you. Very nicely done on both sides, of course. You go ahead and you pull this one and that guy's gonna go down too. Look at all that room. So this thing is ready to rock and roll for whatever you have, but I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and take this Forester for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Forester. This one is the Touring now. I know I have, I've talked out loud about this before. I haven't just thought it, but I miss the Forester XT. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, knocking on some plastic that Subaru will bring the XT badge back, especially now that they got the Outback XT, the Legacy XT, have that turbocharged 2.4 liter in this instead of the 2.5. I think it'd be a nice option. I'm not saying make it standard and then everybody's gonna you know, put in the comment section, well, the prices are gonna go up. It still would ha be nice to have it because zero to 60, 8.5 seconds is on the sluggish side and I am gonna zonk it for that, but um, I know a lot of people that drive these aren't worried about the speed, but it's it's nice to have the option. I'm telling you, I've driven both Outbacks. The XT is amazing. But here we are in this Forester Touring, nice and smooth. I love the visibility. It seems that Subaru knows some kind of magic 
where they're able to get awesome visibility out of all their vehicles. I'm so glad that they updated the EyeSight technology, makes it nice, slim and trim, out of your way, unobtrusive. And I even dig the extra gauge pod that you have where you can scroll through that different information, get the weather, um, your, your navigation, all that kind of stuff, obviously range and all those good things. When it comes to infotainment, it's gonna be interesting interesting to see when they refresh the Forester. Now remember, they totally redesigned it just last year. When are they gonna do a refresh? I'm sure it probably won't happen until 2022. What I expect is that you will get the 11.6 inch screen instead of this eight inch infotainment screen. And that would really even make this feel more upscale. But overall, if you could swing the $37,000, I feel so good sitting in this Forester. And that I have never really said before, to be honest with you. The fit and finish in here is awesome. The armrests are so soft and, and just perfectly placed. Steering wheel feels great and visibility is really awesome in these Foresters. Love the color. That green color really, really pops with the lines of the Forester. And you're gonna get great gas mileage. And on top of that, you're gonna get the, some of the safety, safe, safest ways of traveling on the market currently. Because guess what? Subaru is testing the vehicles for 2023 standards, not the current federal standards. So that's gonna make sure that you arrive home alive every time you drive. Guys, in the Forester, making a U-turn is a piece of cake on throttle. That CBDT transmission with the simulated gears, it does really feel like you're driving a regular automatic I've had worse experiences in other brands with CVTs. Do I love the CVT? No, I am zonking that, but it does have the ability to feel like an automatic. You also have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to shift up and down those simulated gears as well, but very, very smooth. It does get a little buzzy. That's what happens with CVT transmission in cars is that that engine RPM sort of just like stays at a constant but it's not as bad, like I said, as some other brands. Very, very smooth though, the power delivery. And then of course, that symmetrical all-wheel drive, keeping you planted. Everything is perfectly placed in here. I mean, to get to the navigation, to the infotainment, to get to the AC controls, very easy to do. You have that wonderful panoramic sunroof and the seats are something that you'd expect out of your house. That's how good they feel. You could drive hundreds of miles in this Forester and feel fresh as a daisy at the end of the day but like i said i would like an xt i also would, don't understand why subaru is not putting hood struts on all of their vehicles they have them on some but not others so uh, obviously it's a cost cutting uh feature but i think it's something that all of them should just have especially the forester but we're gonna go ahead hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel sorry we just have some traffic that we're driving in um, can't really turn up the wick much, but everything in this car is just properly done, especially the eyesight technology. Watch when I drift into the lane here. It beeps, it tells me lane departure and all that good stuff. And the best part about eyesight is that it's gonna stay clean. It's up away from all the dirt and debris instead of being in the low bumper area like it is on a lot of cars. That radar technology gets covered up with dirt sand and everything else this though has a very very nice setup in here but we're going to go ahead wrap this one up and get back to um loki subaru so i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been a wonderful day here at loki subaru definitely got to thank spencer montel larry and the rest of the crew here is the 2020 forester where you should go to for your ultimate suv if you're not looking for a third row or anything like that I'm gonna say for the price and what's happening on the inside and the outside and that all wheel drive is definitely gonna be a hot contender. But if these are the types of things you wanna keep seeing on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. Tom Moshner breaking world records with his powerlifting, being flown all over the country. It's an amazing adventure. Check him out on his Instagram, at Photos. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.